Um, my name is Jamal Lewis. I was born in Iowa City, Iowa. I'm 24 years old right now. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> Um, I love my family dearly. I'm doing this for my family. They're my backbone. Um, and I honestly just do love the game of football, and I do anything just to keep in it. Man, the game of football. I mean, it started when I was a little kid, you know. Um, I was one of the unfortunate kids, I guess you could say, but it, you know, it taught me a lot when I was growing up. Um, I was a little short, fat kid, and uh, I got picked on, and uh, I, was, I was the kid that was in the school band playing the tuba. Um, I remember I walked in, I wanted to play the trumpet and the saxophone, and, and the band teacher took one look at me and he said, oh, you're a big guy, you know, you can hold the tuba. So I played the tuba all through middle school, and, uh, you know, I always just kind of looked at the jocks and stuff and looked at the football players and the respect that they got, you know, in school and stuff like that, and it just kind of motivated me, you know, to follow my dream. But, you know, I love it. I love the game of football. My family... I mean, they've always been supportive of what I do. You know, even when I was in band, you know, my dad was always, you know, there supporting me. My mom was there supporting me. Um, you know, they just they just always have my back, whatever I want to do. You know, when times are good, you know, they're there. And when times are bad, they're, 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 they're right there with me, too. Um, I played at Rampart High School under Coach uh, Mike Serco, and a uh, great coach. You know, he's just a player's coach. He's not one of those guys that's in it for the money or anything like that. It's just the strictly love of the game. And you know, he's been doing it for years and years and uh, you know, I think I think he taught me a lot, you know, and he and he helped me achieve my goals. You know, in all in all honesty, sitting back and just looking at everything, you know, that I've had and everything that I've went through, like my dream is just to be happy. It doesn't matter if I'm rich, it doesn't matter if I'm poor. You know, money is just a tool. I think money is a tool that, you know, is created by man in order to survive. So just all in all, just to be happy, you know, I want to have a great family, great, uh, kids, you know, my parents just always be there for me, and I just want to be happy overall. That's my dream. Um, my football career, I, my, I mean, my dream is big. I want it, I want it to go along over eight years, and um, I can definitely see that happening back on track. And uh, with that, you know, you just got to be healthy. You got to take care of your body. You know, your body's your temple. Um, you can't be out partying and stuff every night. Like, that, that lifestyle just doesn't cut it if you're going to play football, you know, like, um, football, it really takes a toll on your body and, you know, little knickknacks and injuries and stuff, like, you're going to play with those. Like, you're going to play with them, you just have to get over that. But other things outside of that, that that you can do to prevent that, as is going out and drinking and stuff like that, that, that stuff just doesn't doesn't need to happen. Um, well, Arizona State, it was, it was kind of a, it was a good deal. Um, I was highly recruited out of high school, and uh, I could, I could pretty, put, pretty much pick in the Pac-10, you know, where I wanted to go. And uh, me and my dad, you know, we sat down around the table and we were just kind of looking at all the letters and all the pamphlets and stuff, trying to decide, you know, where I'm going to go to school. And uh, there was a rumor that Arizona State was going to, you know, have a new, a new uh, coaching staff. And lo and behold, they hired Dirk Cutter, and uh, he had uh, his whole new staff of coaches come in and take over. And right when that happened, my coach or my dad said, you know, this is where you need to go. He was like, you really need to look into it. You know, they're going to have a new coaching staff. They're going to be hungry. They're going to, you know, really want to get this program going. And uh, talking with them, you know, they felt that I could really just come in and help off off the bat. So that's why I chose Arizona State. Um, my career in the NFL, you know, I'd really like to follow in the footsteps of Tony Gonzalez. Because I say that because, you know, I get a lot of, oh, you play like him, you look like him a lot, you know. But, you know, I want, I want some kid down the road to be, you know, in the same position that I'm in. And, you know, for his teammates to say, oh, you look like Jamal Lewis or you play like Jamal Lewis at the same position. And, you know, Tony Gonzalez, he's just a good role model, you know, on and off the field. He's just a really good guy to look up to. And uh, I think he's retiring pretty soon, so I wouldn't mind playing for the Chiefs. You know, I've, I've had a lot of good trainers. You know, some, some, you have to look past a personal basis sometimes. You know, some of my trainers I was really good friends with, like this, the guy that got me ready for my uh, pro day. His name was Luke. Um, he worked at a training facility out of, uh, in Arizona. You know, he got me ready for... For my pro day, you know, he's a great trainer, but he was more he was more of a personal basis trainer. He has, he has a little son, uh, Devontae, that's coming up. He's going to be a little stud. But um, I'm going to have to say the guy that, that got me most in best shape, besides all-star sports, would uh, have to be Joe Ken. And he was my strength and conditioning coach at uh, Arizona State. And, you know, Joe Ken, he's one of those hard-nosed guys who's going to tell you how it is. And, you know, if you're, if you're doing right, if you're doing wrong, if you're slipping up, like, he's going to tell you. And sometimes it's hard to look past that because you know, you know, he's he's really coming at your ego and, and stuff like that, and it can really hurt. It can really hurt a person if you're not if you're not strong. 
But uh, if you can get past that and see what he's trying to do for you in the long run, um, I think that that makes him, he's just one of the best trainers. I mean, he got me in the tip top shape of my life that I've ever been in when I was, in, when I was at Arizona State. My favorite football team. I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna have to say uh, the San Diego Chargers. And I'm gonna say the Chargers because, uh, you know I, know, I know a couple guys on the team. And uh, one of the guys, it's actually a great story. One of the guys, he's from, uh, he's a starting receiver. His name is Vince Jackson. He's number 83 for the Chargers starting receiver. And uh, you know, his, sto his story is really motivating, you know, because you know he came from uh, a smaller college. He was at a, a D1 AA college. And uh, you know, he was, he was a prime time player. He should have been D1 for sure, you know, but he just went out there and you know, he handled his business. And uh, he, you know, he did everything that he had to do. And I remember seeing him, I remember seeing him one time. And uh, I remember him talking to me and he was just kind of envious that I was going to Arizona State. And oh, I wish I went to Arizona State and stuff like that. And lo and behold, he ended up in the NFL, and now he's playing in the NFL as a starting receiver, and you know, he's already on his third season. And uh, you know, he came from a D1 AA school, but that just goes to show, you know, if your heart's there, if you're willing to work hard, you know, you can accomplish anything. You know, I've gotten a little taste of the NFL. I went to camp with the Washington Redskins, and uh, you know, that was just, that was a bittersweet moment in my life. You know, just, just sitting back, and I remember walking in the locker room, and you know, seeing the helmet laying there and in the jersey and just everything's laid out, you know, and it's, it, it almost made you want to bring a tear to your eyes. And, um, you know, you can just look, you can look back at all the accomplishments and stuff you did through college and high school and where it all started. And then finally, that's the main goal. That's, that's the place you want to be. So, I mean, that was, that was probably the biggest accomplishment in my life through football this far is just is receiving that. And now I'm just trying to work my way back in that position. Um, my personal life is great right now. Um, I'm loving it, you know. Um, I had to learn a lot of lessons. I had to learn a lot of lessons growing up, and I'm, I'm glad I learned them young. And um, my family, you know, I'm, I'm a family guy. Like, my family, you know, they're supportive. Everything I do, I got a little baby sister who I adore. You know, my mother and father, they're just like my rocks. And uh, right now, I have, a, I have a really great girlfriend that I love dearly. What do you do, Faye? What do you do? Um... My favorite food would have to be chicken alfredo. I love chicken alfredo. My mom makes the best chicken alfredo.